starting my backup recording as well. Welcome everyone, welcome to the Red Earth Energetic Process class. I'm Dr. Huan Xi, and today is 2023 November the 20th. Welcome. Um, I was telling Poppy that the Red Earth Energetic Process was actually created with, with the shop of Indonesia. So I've been to Java twice this year. Actually, within three months, I went there twice. When I was doing, I was learning about movement. I was learning movement and sound meditation from the teachers in Central Java in Surakarta. And during the movement classes, what I really got is that uh, every single awareness and consciousness, once embodied, is like a mega super powerful so uh yes i have been an access facilitator full-time for more than five years six years now and the tools are amazing but what i found is that once the body is involved all awareness becomes more heightened and a lot more palpable that it's almost like it, every every creation is actionable when body is involved and one of the energy that got opened up during my trip in Java was we went to a big waterfall in central Java and there was a gigantic fall. Uh, for you, waterfall is normal. For me, it's like, oh, my gosh. And when I saw such a big energy with like a full circle rainbow, I started walking towards the waterfall. Well, there was a sign that says, danger, do not enter, but I did go in there. And when I was sitting there, there was a moment where I fully surrendered uh, because the waterfall was very forceful. There was a really strong wind blowing at my body. So at that time, fighting with my body is not going to work. The more I fight, <laughs> the more the wind wants to blow me off the rock. So I surrendered. And at that moment, I reached a state where the top of my head opened and the bottom of my body opened, this light beaming through from under, from the earth, and light beaming through from the top. Um, and my dance teacher said, that is Taksu. I guess people, everyone here know Taksu better than I do. But essentially, it is a state of being with your body that connects with the universe, with big energy. And for a dancer, their, their point of view is that you can, you can attract so many people and touch their heart when you're in Taksu state. For me, I'm interested in how to create with life, how to create greater in life with my body. So I started asking more questions, what can I create with Taksu? And then I flew back to Australia. <laughs> in the middle of the night, I got woken up by a big Taksu energy again. Like in the middle of the night, I was dreaming and Taksu came. Taksu came or I chose it. My body was shaking. I set, set up in the middle of the night. And I started seeing, okay, really, what can I create with this energy, with this big universal energy? And I asked Earth, Earth, what would you like? What possibility would you like to create? Wow. And all I heard is Red Earth. I'm like, what do you mean by Red Earth? You want to be on fire? Um, <laughs> have no clue. That's the first time Red Earth popped. And and I'm like, okay, please show me what Red Earth is. If I, if that's the future you truly desire, even if I die, I'm willing to create it. And for me, that is another way of surrendering to that possibility. And when I relaxed and received it, it felt like a very big warm hug from the earth. I felt like the whole earth was radiating infrared light for me. And, and that was the end of that, that session. And I thought, okay, red earth, what is it? I started searching, like I started Google red earth again. I'm like... Maybe someone out there know what Red Earth is because like, I had no clue. I just sense the energy and had no clue. And you know what the closest thing I looked up was in Australia. 
in our big island, the central land is red earth. It's completely red dirt, essentially. I'm like, can could that be it? I'm no idea. But I was very cold by the highest rock. Um, if you, if some of you know about Australia, the uh, highest rock is the center red, big red rock in the center of Australian island. Essentially, there's nothing around but a big, big red rock. And some people say that's the heart of Earth. Uh, some people say it's very spiritual place, very sacred, and the energy there is very different. So I got called and drawn to go to the center of Australia. So I drove to the center of Australia with my daughter, still not knowing what red earth is. But what I learned from Java is to read the land, read the space and know where I need to be and what I need to do. It's like a, a movement in everyday life. So when I got there, I got I got really inspired to dance there. I remember going up to the lookout where I can see the Wuluru rock in my in the distance under the full moon and started dancing. It sounds all auspicious, but really I was really just drawn and I was asking questions, why do I need to be and what do I need to ask? Um so I met many, many spirits of earth there. There are aboriginals, um, there are also bigger mega beings, beings of light, and there's also the earth that is like singing to me. And as I was dancing, I asked them, do you know what red earth is? So I got two different energies shown to me. One is that the aboriginal entity said, oh, wow, that is exactly what we danced to when we when we were here on this land. And that's why we want to hold on to this land as an aboriginal land so we can keep the earth energy. So they shared and danced with me and they say, well, let's share red earth with the world. And another, another group of entity came that was the spirits of earth. They started dancing with me. And I started seeing what I shared last time, like Avatar, where when all the embodied beings have such deep connection, like tendrils going down the earth, the earth will thrive. So will us. And what I got from there is that I have a capacity to connect bodies with the earth. Maybe through movement, maybe through energetic process. That wasn't clear, but gradually as I was dancing, an energy came up and it wants to be called Red Earth. And it's a, to my surprise, it's not like step one, two, three, four, twelve to get to Red Earth. It's actually just one energetic process. And it wants to be shared with the world with as many bodies as possible. So I'm not sure if you have uh seeing any testimonial about the red earth i'm very surprised by what people got out of it but um without describing it why don't we just experience it and of course your body is very unique and it's very wise so i would love to invite you to experience it, it yourself and see what happens really simple can i get everyone to have your feet on the ground please Ideally, without shoes. And I know your, your custom, you probably don't wear socks anyways, which is great. <laughs> I'm just taking my socks off. And if I can invite you to relax with your body and be with your beautiful body. If you get caught to lie down, that's completely fine too. I just like the running it with my feet on first. And when you're in the easiest way for you, please connect with Earth. And you, each one of your body knows how to connect with Earth. Hey, body. Please connect with Earth. Hello, Earth. And run the following energy. Initialization. Activation actualization and exponentialization of red earth <laughs> yeah let go of your brain don't analyze initialization 
activation, actualization, and exponentialization of rebirth. You might sense where your body may be resisting the energy, maybe in your heart. You can allow it to run around your heart or melt your heart, whichever works. Initialization, activation, actualization, and exponentialization of red earth. And when we have that many people running one process, this process is run with earth. So allow your body to receive. And if you are game enough, <laughs> please do, please do, please be brave. Extend your connection with the earth to the center of the earth or beyond. Let's play touchy touchy. Let's touch our feet together in the center of the earth and initialization, activation, and actualization, and exponentialization of red earth. Whenever you're sensing the energy, allow it to run freely. Freely, as in if, if it wants to go up, let it go up. If it wants to melt your heart, let it be there. If it wants to reach your throat, allow it. Surrender. 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 This is, this is something that your body already knows. This is something that is abundantly available with the earth. Surrender more. You don't need to be anything special. You don't need to do anything special to receive this energy. Melt your heart. Initialization, activation, actualization, and exponentialization of red earth. And relax even more into this energy. You might find it swelling up your spine into your head and allow it be. You might find that you are going right into the center and you, your body, may be disappearing. Let it be. Surrender. Surrender more. When you are ready, start expanding your energetic field and share red earth with the air around you. And such expansion goes outward as well as inward. As you expand, you become more intensely as the red earth energy and you, you have more to share. So it's not a forceful sharing, it's just an abundant outflow. And if you're willing, red earth is really yummy for the spirits of earth, for the trees, for the animals. So whatever you resonate with, can you please share red earth with the beings, with your team, with the trees, with the little, little plants in your house, with the house, with the Oh, with the parks and the mountains and the forests that you really love. And initialization, activation, actualization, and exponentialization of red earth. You might start sensing that as you start sharing, the energy would shift slightly or they completely change. Because as you share it with the you are activating the possibility in them as well. And they will share with you. So this is the co-creation with Earth, with the elements of Earth. Relax even more. If you have decided that you need to be something very special, you share. If you've decided that you are not valuable and you are not worth it, please allow Red Earth to melt it and allow your heart to beam and smile. And if you sense there's 
anything in your world or in your body that is not quite receiving this energy. You can you can put your hand on this spot or you can just put, bring your awareness there and turn on red earth, initialization, activation, actualization, and exponentialization of red earth. Then I invite everyone to expand your energy field even bigger, to include everyone joining this Zoom now and everyone listening to the recording, include their beings and their bodies. Well done, Samuel, wherever you feel your hands need to go to, go there, trust you. And now if I can invite you to include all of us in the few, in your energetic field and share your red earth with us, please. Everyone would have a different view of this energy and every one of your possibility is valuable. Initialization, activation, naturalization, and exponentialization of red earth from And please include the entire earth now. The entire earth under your feet. The entire earth that in includes the air and the atmosphere. And share with all the molecules and beings that are willing to receive this energy. We are abundant. And the more you share, the more fun that you get. Initialization, activation, actualization, and exponentialization of red earth wrong. If you're thinking, I'm inviting you to run red earth on your mind as well. So wherever you feel like you are not there, turn it on there. Initialization, activation, initialization, and exponentialization of red earth. Um, if you start sensing cool breeze under your feet, that's normal. You can turn it up, that's okay. If you feel like the energy is disappearing, ask yourself a question, have I become it or has it disappeared? And if you're sensing turbulence, allow yourself to ride the wave, don't control it, surrender. Now, can we turn it right up? Turn it right up until we infuse every single molecule of the Earth, of this planet, with red Earth energy and see what happens. If you're more resonant with a certain element, water, wood, metal, air, whatever you resonate with, share, please share. And now if I can invite you to open up the space between the molecules of your body and allow the space to connect. So we are not just connecting in our energetic field. We are opening up every single pore of our body and allow the energy to come in. So as we share, we receive. Can you receive the red earth from earth? And can you receive the red earth energy from the floor, the trees, the plants, the spirits of earth and everybody here? We're very lucky to get to co-create together.
Are you willing to receive what people are opening up? And are you willing to be generous with the possibilities that you have opened up? Hmm. Hmm. The waterfalls are calling again. So I guess all of you would know some waterfall. Pick one that you love the most or pick one of you that resonate with you the most. What can we learn from the waterfall? An initiate. Initiation, activation, and actualization and exponentialization of red earth with the waterfall. Some of you may feel like your crown is opening up. Allow it to open. You don't, you don't need to force anything. Naturally, your body knows what to do. Yeah, you can call for it to open. Some of you may feel that your feet are opening up. Some of you may be your bottom. Allow it to happen. And really allow whatever is required to run room. And we can ask the spirits of Earth that are willing to contribute. What do you know? Hey guys, what do you know about Red Earth? Can you share with us, please? And of course, they are not all knowing. We all know something different. And what do we know about Red Earth right now? Can you share it with them, please? If you're willing to, only if it's light for you, allow them to hug you. Allow the spirits of Earth to hug you. Allow them to give us a big, gigantic hug. Which for many may be melting into your molecules and your cells. For some, it may, may be a big bear hug. For some, it may be a tickle. Whatever it is for you, trust and relax. And again, initialization, activation, actualization, and exponentialization of red earth from it may start creating more awareness of your body if there's anywhere in your body possibly upper chest and heart area. If, if there's only way in your body that you're not willing to receive you, you're not willing to allow yourself to be, and you're not willing to surrender, would you like to, to now surrender to it? You don't have to clear or change any blockage or every blockage. You can be the kindest hug for yourself and embrace it. That's where the energy is allowed to move. And same thing, if you get stuck there, you can call on Red Earth in that spot. <laughs> Maybe many of you feel it in the heart. I'm sensing it in my heart. So... Again, turn on Red Earth there, initialization, activation, actualization, and exponentialization of Red Earth. And around about surrendering, it's not just about you embracing it. If you trust the Earth enough, you can let it go and let Earth handle it as well. So for example, right now my heart is still feeling a bit tight. I can turn on Red Earth there. And I can also ask my heart to connect with Earth and share this energy with us. Yeah, that's working right. 
So what if you can trust the earth so much that you can share everything about you, the good, the bad, the ugly, the tight, the heavy, and the light and the bright. It's just energy. It's not, it's nothing more. It's nothing good or nothing bad. And as you share, uh, uh, oh, I'm just watching Suryanti. Yes, you open your crown if you require it. As you share, you're receiving. And you actually really don't need to define. It's about what you know right now. Every moment is different. Neutralization, activation, and actualization of red earth. And if we can learn from the trees, I know Indonesia has many, many gigantic, beautiful trees with big roots, multi-roots in the land. What if every single molecule of our body has tendrils and roots into the land? It's not just into the land, it can grow into the air as well. You're like a fluffy bowl of tendril. And wherever you go, you are there. You are with earth. And now, being the fluffy bowl of tendril, can we turn on red earth again and share it with the whole space? Up, bottom, left, right, front and back. Turn it on. And if you're willing to, to reach further, please do. How big a space can you and your body be to share Red Earth with the world? Slowly as the energy is still going, you don't need to shut it. You can open your eyes. And please tell me how you're going with your body, how you're going with earth. Um, yes, I get that you're looking at the computer and also please connect with me through space and earth as well and connect with everyone through space and earth. And don't stop the energy, allow it to keep going. How are you all? Beautiful bodies. You're welcome to unmute yourself, or you can type. How are you all? What is red earth like for you? I'm very curious. You're so quiet. Thank you, amazing. Thank you, Poppy. What I perceived was like uh, the red soil and it starts to grow plants, flowers and everything. Like it's, it's really nice. Wow. Like the soil. What else was it? That's what I perceived. Wow. Yes. Thank you. I wonder what that's going to blossom into in your world. I'm really curious. Thank you. Harini Wati says sleepy in space. Nuri says floating. Yes, allow it to blossom in your world, in your in your body, 
Um, this is really something for you to play if it's fun for you. And um, I've just read Earth with a lot of beings, people, and a lot of spirits of Earth, a lot of trees and grass and space. Um, it's all it's all showing up differently when I share it with different space. And as more people are sharing, we've also noticed that the red earth energy is changing, it's developing itself. So if it's fun for you, please play with it. There is as many people as you can. Um, we also, last time I met Francisca, we played with turning red earth with ours. It was really potent. Um, I've run MTV access, uh, access body process with red earth on my husband. Um, it seems to be his body seems to require less time running the process. Um, I have shared red earth with trees that make them sparkle and spirits of earth that turn dark to light. But that's just my experience. I'm sure you would have your your unique magic. And please explore. And if there's anyone in your life that you feel like, oh, maybe Red Earth could be a contribution, share it with them as well. Sriyanti says, I feel my hand is filled with electricity. Actually, today I had my first chemotherapy. This is so fun. I can feel my body is filled with energy. That is amazing. Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm sure you, you probably have heard it with whatever with, uh, with chemotherapy or whatever drug that we're taking, you can release whatever your body doesn't require to earth or to the space. And I do wonder if, if you turn on red earth, that would be a contribution to your body, feeling better, feeling more ease. Yeah. I did hear one of my participants in China where I first shared Red Earth with, and she said her daughter was having a flu, and it's a baby girl who's crying, who's having fever. And she said, oh, oh no, I don't know what to do. So she turned on Red Earth, and the baby girl stopped crying. And the baby girl just wiggle, 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 and put her feet on her mommy's leg, and then she stopped crying. And my friend turned off the Red Earth recording and turned off the energy and the baby started crying again and turned on Red Earth and the baby stops crying again. So these are little fun stories that I heard. Please go and create your own story, create your own experience. But I would love to know how it is for you and what it unfolding to. <laughs> Mother says my plane got delayed and just in time to take off now. It feels like fire that I'm sweating even though the conditioner is above me. Thank you, Fanshi. It's an amazing experience. Thank you very much, Kamala. And thank you, airplane. You'll be delayed just be on time. Wonderful. Do you have any questions? Any more sharing? Quiet. I have a question for you. Um, I was red earth, <laughs> and please play. Uh, we have also downloaded or created another process with earth and it's called true earth and true embodied living um it, it is a paid process and the prerequisite is to have red earth run at least three times before you choose that class is any of you interested in having that body well that's not a body process that's also an energetic process with earth are you interested is there enough interest for us to start a class in Indonesia, it will be online for sure. If there is, you can have one inch in the chat. If no, that's fine too. What's the name again about the class? It's I mean, uh, it's 
Now the the other process is called true earth and true embodied living. True earth and true embodied living, okay. Mm -hmm. Sure, I can type it in here. You got it, Nita? Lovely. And Melanie said, I feel tingly in my fingers at the first, and then I saw clear, beautiful light. But after that, I saw dark light, and I feel on a cry. Hicks, what does Hicks mean? How does it get any better? No, that's not. By crying, Hicks. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Oh. Hicks, okay. Hicks. Mm. Oh, Hicks like sobbing. I see. I see. Oh, that's that's so beautiful. One thing I learned about Earth and nature is really embracing the light and shadow. Uh, actually, that's what I learned from nature. There's light, there's shadow, there's light, and there's heavy. And the true surrendering is actually embracing all. So in access consciousness, we call it allowance. It's not... Mm. Oh, everyone, can we do an experiment here, please? If you start expanding your space, your own space, now the space is a uh, spherical space, it's never flat. So when I say expand your space, it includes your back, definitely includes your back. The one space that we often forget, and in embrace your front, embrace your top, embrace your bottom, embrace your left, embrace your right. Now, this is a hard question you don't have to answer, but ask yourself, is there anywhere that you have decided that you are so dark, so evil, so heavy that you're unwilling to embrace, that you're hiding it from the world as well as hiding it from you? Can I invite you just to expand your bubble of awareness to include it wherever it is wherever the hidden spot is it may mean that you've hidden it in the universe and expand your 360 spherical bubble to include it you may have hidden it inside of your body please include it as well so it becomes fully um fully seen see, visible for you you can be aware of it. If you have any judgment about it, can you please melt it? Now, since this is a Red Earth class, I'm inviting you to turn on Red Earth right on the judgment, right on the separation that you're creating. Actualization of Red Earth run. This is interesting. If you if you're still having a really hard time, ask, hey, Earth, please show me what true allowance is. If I'm looking at me from the earth eye, would I still judge it? and expand your space if you need to. And what have you hidden behind your body, behind you, that you are not allowing the world to see, you're not allowing yourself to see? Can you now turn on the light of awareness on it and give that 
dark you shadowed you a big hug. And embrace even more. Internal red earth on the shadow too. Just to play. I don't know where we're getting. So let's turn on red earth on the shadow. Can you start sensing the energy behind what we call shadow? Maybe power, maybe potency, maybe cute, pure naiveness, or just innocent. Whatever that is, allow it to be. And melt more. Melt more with red earth. Now I'm going to invite everyone. It's probably easier to embrace something else than yourself. To expand your bubble of awareness and bubble of energy even bigger and include earth. Now, maybe some of you can sense the light and shadow, some may not. It's completely fine. But the thing is that Earth is not just pure and bright and beautiful. There's also death. There's also killing. There's also volcano eruptions and tsunami. Earth is all, the whole package. Can you embrace it all? The power, the killing, the not so good things. The thing is, the more you are willing to embrace you, the more you're willing to embrace the earth and vice versa. We're learning from each other. Now, can I invite everyone to open your back even more? No more hiding. You don't have to show it to us. Please show it to earth. No more hiding and turn on red earth again. Now, if any of you want to play, have a sense of letting go of your defense system on your back and lean towards earth. This may, may show up as you leaning on the wall, may show up as you lying down, or may show up as you simply shifting your weight and allow the earth to take your weight more. And start asking for a sense when, where Earth has your back. <laughs> Maybe strange if you are not willing to have your back or if you've been fighting as a lone soldier before. But for now, just give it a chance. Give Earth a chance. Hey, Earth. Hey, body. Can you please show me what it is like to have my back? and to allow Earth to support you. Support, contribute, lift, hug, and be there for you. How much more can you relax your back? How much more can you open your back to allow it to happen? And how much bigger space can you have in your back? Like how much further can you expand towards the back of your body to reach the horizon on your back? And as that happens, the horizon of your front, your left, and your right expand as well. And truly start learning to have a sense that we have Earth as our body, as our creation body. And in our space, turn on Red Earth again. <laughs> so it, can, it doesn't have to be just your body running the process. It can be your space, energetic space, and running the process as well. Share. Please share. How are you all going? How is Melanie? Yeah. 
What was it like to embrace your shadow? Much, much better. It's wonderful. Do any of you have any questions? That was Red Earth. Red Earth is very straightforward. Turn it on and see what happens. Uh, one, just wondering, I mean, yeah, while you were keep saying uh, about uh, those sentences already, uh, a sensation felt in my body, like something sifting from my back. What, what was it? <laughs> Good question. What are you aware of? So, feeling lighter now. Sorry, feeling lighter now? Yes. Um, was that the way your body received? Oh, what do you get? Is Was that the way your body received you? Or was that the way your body received Red Earth or something else? Probably the first one. I got that too. Yeah. Well, have fun. Welcome home. Oh, okay. Home to your body. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have fun with it. Play with it and get to know you, the new you more. All right. Like, well, actually about embracing the shadow if you're interested in this topic I, I can talk more if you don't mind that's actually what I learned from Java like um, I guess some of you have done access consciousness here it's amazing isn't it but with access consciousness, I guess I was not using the tools very well in one area. That is, I kept looking for lightness and I kept judging heaviness. So a lot of my, for a period of time, a lot of my theory is to get me out of heaviness into lightness. But in my recent Java trip, I was, I was learning uh, sound meditation with the teacher and he had something come up and with my like I put my CF hat wanting to clear, clear it all for him that was there was no question there there was just a judgment there in, in myself um when I was ready to to interfere and I asked oh, would you what would you like to do with it lucky enough I was smart enough to ask that one question and he said um I'll surrender to it and see where it wants to go. And I, oh, that's new. You don't you don't have to pull and pop it. Okay, let's see where it wants to go. And uh, and we watched the energy, the, the dark shadow energy together. We saw it rising, reaching his heart. And as it went to his heart, I started seeing another energy, a light, bright, shining energy in him. And I asked him what's in there. He said, that is my authentic self. So also with the light and the shadow, I ask where do they all want to go? Does the light want to embrace the shadow? Does the shadow want to travel somewhere? Eventually, the, the shadow from his uh, lower body rose up and the light in his heart started melting together and he had peace. The sense of peace was very different Um to what we get from clearing it was very much i can embrace the shadow and the light of my life they are both existing and i get to choose now and at that moment he chose light and that's where i learned about surrendering and embracing it or um to me that felt like the tai chi the yin and yang started running and we are really allowed um, allowed to be all, well, all of us with the good and the bad. And from that point, I started to have a different understanding of what true allowance is. 
So of course, all modality have their uh, wonderful tools, and we all get to choose when to use what and use whatever that works for you. And I do believe that um, in access consciousness, we well, we do say that you need to see what is and be total allowance or be interesting point of view of it before you can change it. So that to me is another level of understanding, like really when we use the tools, whether it's access consciousness, whether it's prayer, whether it's dance, are we coming from judgment or are we coming from, I'm curious what it is and coming from the point of view and go, what do I need to do with it? So how you be with the tool is the key. Do any of you have any questions? If well, not, we can. Yes. I have a question. Yes, please. Um, what is the sign that we haven't embracing our uh, shadow? Because sometimes we felt that we have embraced our shadow, but actually not. What do you feel after you have embraced your own shadow? Thank you. For me, uh, there's more peace. Uh, but that's just for me. You need to ask yourself that question when it does happen, when you actually have a shadow coming up and watch yourself. And what helps is that, you know, we have the tool from Access Consciousness called Interesting Point of View. I have this point of view. That is a great tool. Um, for me, I have an image of that tool. So if this is your shadow, and you, you're seeing it, seeing it from here. You can go interesting point of view. I think it's a shadow. I should get rid of it. Pull and pull, pull and pull, pull and pull. And as you pull and pull, that judgment get bigger because it's it's actually created from a judgment, right? But actually being interesting point of view is like, oh, interesting point of view. I think it's a shadow. And there's a brief moment of space. And then you would have a different point of view, interesting from, from this point of view. Interesting point of view. Oh, maybe there's some light about it. That brings up the question of what's right about this I'm not getting. That's also an access consciousness tool. But also, if you if you be there as well and you will start noticing another point of view interesting point of view i must find the lightness of the darkness so i can get over this point of view right we we also we all have the point of view and then this is when you start seeing oh that actually that new interesting point of view is not here it's one step back because you start seeing this point of view is also trying to get it right you step back one step and go interesting point of view i have that point of view and then you have space and you go, interesting point of view that I want to use all of these tools so that I can get rid of this shadow. That is one more step back. That's where you create space between you and what you call shadow. And that's where you actually start losing the judgment and the story of this, what we call shadow. And you start to get to see what it is. So uh, I guess the telltale sign is, do you get more peace with this? Do you have more space with this? If not, that's a pretense. They must embrace my shadow because, because I'm supposed to. <laughs> you, you're, you're, you're muted, honey. Oh, sorry. Sorry, actually it's about embracing our self the whole self. Is it? Can you tell me what is yourself? Then I can respond <laughs> to that. My, my, all the things, I mean, the things that I call it good or bad, or something that I reject, something that I see, something like that. What do you get when I was um, 
when I was stepping away from this highlighter, did you sense more space? Yes. And remember, we have, no, no, no. we have, sorry? When we step further? Mm -hmm. Yes, more space. I think. Okay. And can you tell me which one is you, the pen, the spec, the, the person with this point of view, or the space, the whole space around? What's you? The space setup? Is it? So with the exercise we did just then with Red Earth about expanding energetic field into bigger, 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 bigger. That is a physical physical exercise to remind you that you are an infinite being, then we can be the space to embrace it all, to include it all. That is actually in expanding into consciousness, including everything and judges nothing, right? Or the interesting point of view when you're stuck with this point of view that you take a step back, a step back, step back, eventually into infinite. Or you ask the question, the, fa the famous question from Access Consciousness, what would an infinite being choose here? That get you right into the space too. Well, so I guess there are, um, yeah. We have infinite tools. We have, yeah, everything leads you to more of you. Thank you. That's an amazing question. <laughs> Anyone else? We can talk about anything. Unless I don't want to talk about that something. <laughs> You got to ask. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Ninta. Thank you so much. <laughs> if no one has any question, um, please play, please share. Um, and let me know how it blossoms in your world. And if you're interested in the true earth and true embodied living process, uh, please let Ninta know and we will organize a class for Indonesia. That is um that that requires a little bit more facilitation because that that invites the being and the body to come right back to your center. Really fun. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for your beautiful presence and thank you for playing with me and playing with Red Earth. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>